Um, but it's still more expensive than it should be and than it will be. And, that, um, and then what you need for companies to be able to deploy AI as expansively as they want. Did you know that asking ChatGPT to write your cover letters costs OpenAI up to $700,000 a day? Training these models and acquiring the data, especially when it's from a third-party source, can add a lot of zeros in the total bill. Take a look at Meta, which recently released its largest El Llama model using 2048 NVIDIA A100 GPUs to train on 1.4 trillion tokens. In other words, 750 words is about 1,000 tokens. Using Amazon Web Services, it took about 1 million GPU hours to train, costing up to $2.4 million. And guess what? This is just 65 billion parameters, smaller than the current GPT models at OpenAI, like ChatGPT3, which has 175 billion parameters which means that $2.4 million is what it takes to build a relatively smaller AI model. And this is how much it costs to simply set a model up and running. It costs much more to keep things under control for millions of incoming users. So does this data imply that making and developing newer AI models will cost an arm and a leg for companies all around the world? Luckily, Amazon thinks it can scale up all while reducing the cost of AI as a whole. And in the video, we'll explain how they've actually done it already. Andy Jassy has been pretty honest about both the challenges and opportunities presented by the cost of artificial intelligence at scale. In recent interviews and his 2025 annual letter to shareholders, Jassy talked about the current situation and his vision for the future. He says that Amazon is committed to making AI more affordable and accessible, the billion-dollar company is already using AI to keep the workflow seamless and easier on the manpower. So, what exactly did Jassy have to say about the current state of AI? Long story short, he thinks it's very expensive. More than it should, to be honest. He told CNBC that the cost of AI today is too high because of the chips and interference of it all. In other words, everything that happens behind the user-friendly interface of someone typing in a prompt and getting detailed answers is very technical. Jesse thinks it shouldn't be this costly to maintain AI models and tools. Um, but it's still more expensive than it should be and than it will be. And, that, um, and then what you need for companies to be able to deploy AI as expansively as they want. Hardware is a primary culprit because, according to him, most AI to date has been built on one chip provider. And yes, it's really pricey. He also acknowledges that most of the early investments in AI have gone into training large models. And I think there are two big drivers of it. One is the chips. And, uh, you know, what's interesting is most of the spend today in AI has been on training, you know, these giant training runs. Right. But when you get the scale of the production applications for AI, it flips. And the overwhelming majority of the spend is actually on the inference, which are the predictions for the model. He said this is where his goal to lower the cost of AI comes into play. Jassy thinks that the lower they can make the cost of AI, the more customers are going to use it. I know what you're thinking though. You might be wondering how more people would use AI if billions use it every day. Well, in this case, artificial intelligence isn't just chatbots and prompt machines. It's the brains behind complicated programming languages, codes, and information on proteins in genetic research. If Jassy can somehow lower the cost of this marvel, society could quite possibly change for the better. Back in the early days, Jassy noticed that when Amazon Web Services lowered the cost per unit of something, customers were more likely to purchase it. Why is that? Well, it allows them to save money on what they're building. It also gives room for more innovation. He's quite fond of this dynamic when AWS was new. When they changed the cost databases and storage, customers loved it so much that they spent more on infrastructure. Why? It simply allowed them to build more for their customers. In Jassy's annual letter, he said, reducing the cost per unit in AI will unleash AI being used as expansively as customers desire and also lead to more overall AI spending. It's like what happened with AWS. Revolutionizing the cost of computing and storage happily led to lower cost per unit, more invention, better customer experiences, and more absolute infrastructure spend. So what does the journey of lowering the cost of AI look like? 
In his shareholder letter, he wrote, AI does not have to be as expensive as it is today, and it won't be in the future. There are two main drivers for this transition. First, in his opinion, the chips and hardware are already so unnecessarily pricey and need to be changed. Jassy said that Amazon has built its own chips with custom AI silicon called Tranium 2. The price performance is 30 to 40% better than what's out there in the current GPU. But guess what? Jassy wants the price to go lower. He's on a mission to achieve low cost and high performance. And let's just say he's determined to secure it before anyone else in the market. The next thing that needs to be covered is the model architecture. In his letter, Jassy says, more price performance chips, along with improvements in model distillation, prompt caching, computing infrastructure and model architectures, will over time reduce the cost per unit in AI. He finds a sense of urgency for this particular thing to cover though. He feels a strong urgency to make interference less expensive for customers. Overall, Amazon has a clear-cut mission to make AI cheaper and improve performance at the same time. In fact, the AWS team thinks it's their personal mission and responsibility to make the cost of AI meaningfully less for customers than it is today. All this talk about money raises the question on everyone's minds. How much does it cost to maintain AI today? Well, as of 2025, the costs extend far beyond the figure it stood in the initial development of AI model. The price can range between $5,000 for a basic AI model to up to $500,000 for cutting-edge applications. Why do you think OpenAI has received billions of dollars in investments? This stuff covers each and every field of developing artificial intelligence, hardware, software, data, compliance, and continuous updates. Annual maintenance can add up to 15 to 20% of the initial development cost. This means that developing these tools is sort of something you do forever. But if Amazon can somehow reduce the costs, it would do wonders for the industry. Like Jassy said, the lower they can make the cost of AI, the more customers are going to use it. By making AI more affordable, Amazon can shift gears in rolling out new services, improving existing products and creating new ideas that wouldn't be to such a big risk to the company. See, the company already uses AI to improve delivery routes, automate warehouses and personalize marketing. For years, Amazon's biggest area of opportunity has been implementing robots into Warehouse S, and as AI becomes more capable, they're able to do just that. Many already know they have a hybrid workforce in the warehouses to keep up with demand, but models like this could flip that on its head. We've already seen robotics companies like Figure develop hive mind meshes to efficiently produce in a warehouse setting. Check our Figure 2 video to learn more about that and how their autonomous robots are already being deployed, saving companies millions in labor costs today. But truth be told, a lot of people really find their experience with Amazon's AI assistant helpful and satisfactory. In 2024, Amazon used AI to upgrade its Java software, which saved up to 4,500 developer years. Yes, we're looking at over 450 human lifetimes. It even saved around $250 million in CapEx savings, which gets to go straight to the bottom line. All in all, switching up the AI costs would change the business as a whole. Faster services would put it at the top of the food chain by giving it a competitive edge in retail and cloud computing. The money saved would go back to investing in new strategies. It's as if Amazon is constantly making the ingredients to its own meals. Could platforms like OpenAI, Meta, and DeepSeek help Amazon on its mission? Or will the race to the top ruin everything? Amazon Nova is already an achievement on its own because of how it's got an upper hand over its competitors. A lot of people thought that a company like Amazon launching its own AI model wouldn't be that successful. But guess what? It works just like ChatGPT. Amazon Nova can read texts, images, and videos, and generate them too. The multimodal ability alone puts DeepSeek behind in the race, since it had to release Janus Pro to generate that sort of stuff. Nova is also at least 75% less expensive than other AI models. Looks like they've already started their mission to lower the costs, huh? And speaking of trying to be the best, Amazon Nova recently updated its Sonic AI model to give it a more human-like voice. Its video model can also generate video clips that are over a minute long. This never-ending race to the top is a lot more exciting than anyone thought. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenA. 
I think the cost will decrease by 10% each year. Amazon has other plans though. What do you think? Will Jassy and Amazon somehow make AI a lot cheaper than it should be? Or should this exceptional tool be as expensive as it is? Let us know in the comments below. As always, hit that subscribe button to see more content. Thanks for watching.